So in our last case study, uh, we'll talk about how we use data to enhance uh, digital experiences. And the objective here is to improve the online renewal experience by analyzing different contract renewal campaigns. And with the goal that we want the customers to complete their renewals uh, online on a self-serving basis. So for this, uh, on the data prep side, there's something interesting. So all our online data is tagged via site catalyst and stored in Hadoop. But then all the call center data is stored in Teradata. So to tie in a customer's online behavior to their calling behavior, which is offline in the call centers, we first have to, we first have to combine data from Teradata and um, uh, Hadoop. And then once we have all done the ETL and, and got the tables ready, then we plug in to Tableau, create the extracts, and start building the views. And that's where we measure the success of the self-service by certain key KPIs. And I'll, uh, I'll, we'll see what the KPIs are, and we look at it in a funnel uh, type of a view. Then we monitor how these KPIs have performed over time. So, bas so basically we monitor how the campaigns are performing over time. And then we compare each of these campaigns uh, against each other to see which one is the most effective and, and what's working and what's not. So here we see this is our renewal flow. So for each campaign that's selected uh, on, the, on the top filter, we see the number of visits, we see the number of visitors, the number of customers, the customers who called, how many calls they made, and the call-in rate. And you can see line graphs showing you how does that fluctuate over time. And something interesting that I want to talk about is we've integrated a cool feature, which is adding a dynamic text sticker to the bottom of the dashboard, which basically summarizes the entire information in the dashboard and gives you a brief of if the campaigns are doing good or bad, if the, if, if, if the project is successful or not. And uh, we've, we've, we've used JavaScript REST APIs uh, and created the HTML marquee text stickers and hosted it on our internal servers and then got that in to Tableau dashboards through the URL embed functionalities. I mean, gotta love the URL, URL embed functionalities. It just opens a whole new world of possibilities. All right, thanks, Sid. So the funny story about that ticker is I was half joking when I asked Sid to incorporate that into the dashboard and then came back two days later and there was actually a moving ticker on the dashboard. So absolutely amazing, uh, the fact that we were able to do that. So the key thing about this dashboard was what I mentioned before, which is more customers are digitally engaging now more than ever. This is why you need to put a heavy stress on digital analytics, making sure customers can self-serve. This is extremely important because this is our, our metric of success here. You know, we pride ourselves on our cross-channel capabilities, taking customers who go digital and then have to call and diving into that experience and figuring out why. Um, this helped us identify those areas of opportunity. It helped us find which campaigns were working, which ones weren't, uh, which ones confused customers. And, just was very successful to keep optimize those things so more customers are able to close online. And just for the future use cases, this is another example that set the stage for how we would measure digital activity and the success of customer self-serving. This dashboard just provided us a stage to put many other dashboards on top of it and measure different pages. You probably have websites that have tons of different sections. They're all different in different ways and you need to measure the success of those different flows and understand which ones need to be optimized. 